Interesting day, Nigel Crumbs was never in the major of the start line, the turbine failed to, to accelerate and he had to back out of it and just it wouldn't leave, it wouldn't, wouldn't well light up to be quite honest. Um, we were just warming up, it was actually probably five minutes before our start and the engine completely died so it um, okay. looks like a fuel control, we're not getting any fuel to the engine. But we've brought it back to the workshop, fixed it and we'll be there tomorrow because really what he's trying to do is have clean runs and learn how to drive the turbine at speed in rivers for next year's worlds. As I predicted, wind and navigation was going to be a big problem, but Ben Baxter had serious navigation, but he nearly didn't make it into the river and then spun later on on his run. Yeah, it wasn't too tidy this morning. Um, hadn't really boated the river much and got a bit confused coming into the mouth and uh, had a wee U-turn and a bit of gravel and Roger snuck past us, so we just followed him to the top and, and sort of led us away. I sort of figured Roger had more of an idea than I did and I had no idea, so it seemed like a good option. We had uh, got up the river about probably 10k and we saw the Baxter's uh, rooster tail so we kind of chased it down and he had had a couple of issues obviously so we got past him reasonably easily and then he just followed us up. I think he was um, sort of head was out of race mode and, and as was still in so he just followed us and it was good. Clearly a good run for Preston but hey Roger is a good boat driver, he's done a lot of boating and he's done a lot of boating in high speed boats. So Places like the Rakaia and the Waimak, he hasn't been clean up till now, but I think you'll find he'll shine. But he's had a DNF, which doesn't allow him for an overall, but his class plate is what he'll be trying to do. And of course, Jason Young, current world champion CX class, had a drive shaft let go yesterday, and today he run aground. Uh, yeah, we had a drivetrain issue with uh, Universal let go. Just before the wire bridge started smelling like something getting hot in the back, we got a, a small vibration, so we're looking for somewhere to stop and then it just let go. And, did stop. <laughs> yeah, it's our campaign, especially in the overall and also in the um, in our CX class as well. We're probably too far behind now to try and make any distance, especially after today's effort as well. Yeah, we ended up way left um, after the mouth and, and um, yeah, missed a little shoot, which was the way out, and, and ended up parking it up in a little pool. So Jason's bad luck was clearly three other guys' good luck because Jason was actually waving him out of there to keep them going, which is really good sportsmanship. So the downstream run on the Rakaia, which is from the mountains to the sea, 87 k's, but of course it does help you when the Norwester is straight behind you and set it straight into you. The braided river of the Rakaia is very hard, but most of the channels normally come out. That doesn't mean they don't get narrow, as Roger Preston found out. being overtaken, John Derry still leads by a whisker from Ben Baxter. Hey, who's in third? Mike Pauley. Of course, he's been out of boating for a long time, has been a navigator, but as a driver, he's doing extremely well.